how you doing everybody so today we have a very cool thing this is a remote control jet um, it is fashioned after an f-35 fighter but what we have here is it's got the remote control it can do aerobatic stunts as you can see here on the side but let's go ahead and get this opened up and we'll show you what the plane actually looks like inside the box um, here So we obviously have the instruction manual, so you want to obviously take a look at this, make sure you know how to work everything. And then this is the jet itself. Um, it's got the tail fins here that you just snap on and go back and back. Now it also comes pre-installed with a battery in the compartment already. So you'll just flip the switch on here um, and you'll hear the, the back tail fins um, engage and show that it's on there. It also has landing gear for when you're going to take off and land. So I'm gonna turn off the, the plane and we'll get the landing gear installed here. So it also has in the bag, in the box here, there rather, there's a spare battery and then extra propellers. Um, and there's actually uh, two bags here. You've got an extra set of landing gear as well as the battery charger in this bag. So let's go ahead and get the landing gear installed. And we're gonna go ahead and look at our instruction manual just to make sure we know exactly how to do that. Okay. Spring. Backward. And there's just slots on the bottom of the plane that will receive the landing gear. So there's the front landing gear. And then there's a spot on the back right here by the antenna and the battery compartment that will um, take the back landing gear. We'll go ahead and put that in as well. Okay, so that is all snapped in and ready to go. So we've got the landing gear here. We'll get the uh, remote control all batteried up here with some fresh batteries. Um, and we'll get everything all set here. Just one second. We had some older batteries in there before, but we've got some brand new ones here. And get the new batteries in. And then what you'll do is you'll turn on the plane. So we'll turn on the plane. You'll see that that light there is blinking. And then we'll turn on the remote control. You can see you hear the beep and you go up and down and then that is connected there and you can see as you go with the remote control um, you can see the the tail fins moving for the steering and then we're good there so we'll get everything all set up we'll take it outside and get it uh, on a runway of sorts and we'll get that taken off all right, so we have the plane here on the driveway. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on here. And we'll get the remote control synced up. All right, so we're all synced up here. Now, a couple of things with the, with the jet, you wanna make sure that you've got a fairly flat space here to, to take off and to land. Um, it will taxi as you get the propellers up and going, uh, which means it will go forward. And then as you get them up, it'll take off uh, and then you can fly it around. But you definitely wanna make sure that you have enough room to fly. Um, be aware of your overhead uh, obstructions like power lines or homes or things like that. You don't wanna do anything crazy and, and cause any problems. So let's go ahead and see if we can um, get the camera turned around and we'll show you the taxiing and see if we can't get this thing to take off. So we 
have our remote control jet fighter here. Got a couple of different ways that you can get this thing to take off. You can put it down on a flat runway, power it up, and it will taxi out and take off the power up here at our ranch. And we don't have a whole lot of flat area right here. So another way that you can get it to take off is to power up the propellers and throw it into the wind. On coming one, we'll pick it up and we'll go. And that's how we'll get this going here. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get this thing to uh, take flight and we'll fly it around for a little bit and hopefully we can track it with the camera. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and we'll go from there. So when you're doing a throwing takeoff, you hold it back here by the tail fins, you power up. Alrighty, so we cut the power to get it to land. It just glided right in. Um, so we're set to go and he ran out to grab that and he's got it coming back in right now. But uh, maybe he can give us a good throw here. So hold on a second. You're gonna wanna throw it that way. Okay, stop. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get it uh, powered up and he'll throw it. Just make sure that your hands aren't touching those rods. See if we can't get another good flight here. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. 